Hello world, good afternoon and welcome to Microsoft BizApps TV Lunch and Learn series. If this is your first time joining us, hit that subscribe button down below. Every Monday we showcase the Microsoft Business Applications ecosystem and what you can accomplish to help drive business outcomes with Microsoft's Azure, AI, the Power Platform, Dynamics 365. And today we're gonna to be diving into Microsoft's customer insights. We're gonna be looking at customer service insights specifically and how you can take that virtual agent and those capabilities around leveraging the agent and bot capabilities and integrate it with Microsoft's flow as well as the common data service and leverage Microsoft's AI around deep learning and Azure natural language semantics to really help your customers take action and drive that integration for helping them achieve those customer service outcomes. On the Teams call, I've got Alyssa Paluccia my colleague and friend from Seattle. Alyssa, how are you today? Hey, Nick, thanks for having me today. Hey, thanks for joining us. It's been a wild ride of pace of innovation and we appreciate you taking the time and sharing this demonstration. I am really excited because there is so much that you bring to the table inside this demonstration. We had to write multiple bullet notes to make sure that, <laughs> hey, here's everything that we're bringing to the table. Everything from common data service, Azure semantics, deep learning, the AI capabilities within Dynamics 365, Microsoft Flow, it is awesome. So I can't wait, thank you again. Absolutely, so let's jump right in. Excellent. So as we know, customer service is quickly becoming a number one way to make or break your brand. Today's customers demand immediate and relevant responses to all of their requests, whether they choose to engage by phone, text, or online. So to help manage large amounts of customer inquiries, more and more companies are turning to virtual agents for help. But traditionally to do this, data scientists, AI experts, and developers were needed. Today, I'm gonna to show you how all of this can be done without relying on code. So let's take a look. So this is customer service insights. So as a customer service manager, here's where I go to see insights across all of my different channels. So I can see traditional metrics and KPIs like total cases, resolution, escalation. But what's really powerful is what's happening over here on the left side. So starting with case volume drivers, here we can see the AI in action. So traditionally, to get to this level of clustering and grouping of topics, we would need someone to go through each one of these topics individually and tag and manually group them, but no longer. So now, through deep learning on natural language semantics, the AI model has done all of this grouping and clustering for me. So now, without any effort on my part, I can see that, wow, 12% of all of my customer inquiries are around a global funds control issue, and 10% are around formatting guidance. So really powerful and really saves me time and alleviates that need for manual effort. The other great feature I want to call out is emerging topics. So now for the past month, we can see, wow, we have an 88% volume change on customers having questions on too much was withheld on my taxes. So let's dig into this a little more and see what's happening with our customers. So I can right click and drill through. So this new view has updated to show me just insights on the too much was withheld on my taxes. So let's take a look at what we can see here. I can now over on the right see information on my human agents. So right away we can see, wow, Ryan has the most unresolved cases compared to my other agents. So this really empowers me as that customer service manager to help get Ryan the training he needs, some additional resource allocations, or any additional help we need to help make sure all of my agents are performing at their best. I can also see additional insights across resolve time and customer satisfaction. So this is really empowering as that customer service manager, as my agents are the face of my brand, I want to make sure they're performing at their best. Another great data that we can see is around customer satisfaction drivers. So as this is a banking scenario, I can see all of the different channels that I currently support my customers through. So we can see web, SMS, email, and phone. If we look across, we can immediately see that the web has the lowest satisfaction with a really negative impact. So let's dig into this one a little bit further. 
So if we scroll down, I can now see my topic case composition map. So this is a visual representation of what's happening to all of my customer inquiries. So we can see all of the different channels here as well as what's happening to them. So if we look over at my escalated calls, we can see, wow, a large majority of the calls being escalated are coming from the web. So as that customer service manager, this really tells me two things. One, I really need to evaluate the content that's on the web and see what enhancements we can make. And number two, this could be a really great candidate for something like a virtual agent to help provide customers a little bit more support to get to the answers they need quickly. So let's take a look at the virtual agent. So this is Dynamics 365 Virtual Agent for Customer Service, where customer service managers can now create a very personalized experience without relying on code. So let's take a look. So first, let's dig into our topics. So here we can see all of the topics we currently have that the virtual agent can engage with. So through our experience managing different enterprise customers like Hewlett Packard and Macy's, we know how critical content is to the success of a virtual agent. So keeping our tax withholding question in mind, let's dig in and see what a topic could look like. This is the full conversation tree. So let's take a look at a few things here. Right at the top, we see trigger phrases. So this is what a customer would type into the virtual agent to trigger a topic. This is another example of where we're seeing the AI in action. So through that deep language understanding, the customer does not need to type in an exact match. So spelling, capitalization, punctuation, none of that matters. The virtual agent is able to understand the user's intent and make a match. I can also clearly see when the bot or virtual agent engages, as well as the user. In this case, these options will render as multiple choice options. The customer can also engage in freeform text, which we'll look at in a moment. So let's go ahead and run the chat right here in the designer. So I'm gonna click test your bot. And I want to make sure that our tracing feature is on. So this allows us to visually follow along where we are, making it really easy for a content editor. So let's type in something a real customer might say on this topic, like, why is my holding so high? And then if we're, the virtual agent is able to make a match, it will highlight in green. Great, which it can. And we can follow along directly where we are. So the virtual agent responds, sure, I can help you. This might be due to some incomplete paperwork. Would you like me to look this up for you? And here we can see those multiple choice options rendering. So let's click yes. And now we'll follow along in the tree on the yes path. So now the virtual agent is asking me for my account number. So let's enter that in. And so this is actually what we call a variable. So the customer will enter in a response and the virtual agent will save it as a variable to be able to put into Microsoft Flow to be able to call into CDS, CRM, and other databases to be able to pull back that personal customer information to provide that great experience. So let's do that now. So I will enter in my account number. And since we're dealing with banking, we want to make sure we're really secure. So the virtual agent is now asking me to verify the last four digits of my social security number. And now what's happening is we're going to call into Microsoft Flow again, but here's what's going to happen. The flow is actually going to call in to my customer account and validate that what I put in is true. So if it's able to confirm that I've entered the proper uh, social security number, it will continue me down the validate path. And if not, it's able to escalate me to a human agent to get additional support. So let's test that now. So entering in my last four of the social, it's calling into Microsoft Flow, it's validating what I put in, and it is correct. So now look what's happened. So based off of my account number and social security number validation, the virtual agent is able to provide me a very personalized experience. So it knows my name, my customer name, and based off the account number I provided, it's able to tell me I have two documents. There's a document count as well as the issue that they're having. So right now it knows that I have an issue with my W-2s, a name formatting issue, as well as my 10 dime dime an incomplete business expense. So really personal and immediate experience. 
So now the virtual agent also through the power of Microsoft Flow can actually do more than actually say something, but actually do something. So in this case, it's offering to send me an email. But since this happens very quickly, I want to scroll down and show you what happens next so we don't miss it. So let's scroll down. So also through Microsoft Flow, the virtual agent is to call in to another product in Dynamics 365 called Customer Insights. So this is where there's a personal profile that has all of my account information in there, as well as something that we're calling the churn score. So this is an option um, that companies can use to evaluate my likelihood to churn or leave or kind of dissatisfaction. So what we're doing here is if we know that my churn score is greater than or equal to 60, we wanna offer you an additional handholding or a warm experience to help alleviate some of that churn. So in this case, we're gonna redirect you to our tax support center to get some additional support. But if we know that you have a lower churn score and are generally a happy customer, we can end the conversation here and this was a successful chat. So let's test this back out now. So yes, let's have them email it to me on file. And so now what's gonna happen is we'll go through that tree where it validates my churn score. And since we know my churn score is a 65, it should redirect me to that tax support center. So that's what's happening now. And now you'll see it updates. So from the tax withholding is incorrect topic to now the tax support center topic. So it's that easy and fast. So the virtual agent makes it so a content writer does not need to duplicate content across different topics, but can actually redirect you, making content management super easy. So let's continue the flow. So we know taxes can be overwhelming. We have a tax specialist that can help you. Are you interested? Yes, of course I am. So let's click yes. So now through the power of Microsoft Flow again, we're able to call into field services to get the different appointment options. So from field services, we're able to return who that tax specialist is and times available for an appointment. So here we're able to see the next available appointment is with me on July 26th at 9 a.m. So if we follow the tree, we can see the yes path and we can see the no path. So if I say no, this appointment doesn't work for me, it's able to loop me right back around to that same flow to provide an additional time. So let's test that out now. So no, that July 26th won't work. Give me an additional time. Great, July 27th at 8 a.m. That sounds perfect. So in addition to being able to press the multiple choice options, I can also type in free form text. So I could just type in yes instead of hitting the button as another way to engage. So yes, this works for me. Great, I'm confirmed. Yes, this answered my question. And now I'm able to give that satisfaction score. So we're able to get additional metrics that feed all the way back through the cycle. So now that I've completed my conversation with the virtual agent, let's go take a look at that email. So I've gotten it. So for my account, I'm able to see my name with all of the different issues that we saw in my tax forms, as well as those attachments, so I can take action right away. It's that simple and fast. Alyssa, that's pretty impressive. Like to take everything that Microsoft can empower customer service organizations, all the way from that customer interaction, the virtual agent, taking in deep learning, integrating that with Microsoft's execution and workflow of Microsoft Flow, integrating with Dynamics 365 for field service, wrapping around the customer insights. It's pretty impressive, right? And so many customer experiences today are so fragile that if you don't provide that ability to wow and to execute and to get things done, which Microsoft has built and empowered, obviously, in the platform, you don't need a data scientist. You don't need to be able to weave this all together. We know that customers want these types of experiences, and you've showed it to us in an easy, elegant, and the ability to get started today. So. Thank you. This is this is excellent and it's available right now. We're going to put some links in the show's description, but if this was helpful, help uh, help our team out by giving it a thumbs up or share it with a colleague. But Alyssa, we appreciate your time today. This has been excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You know, when I'll you just have end the, it and or, saying thank you, and then and then you just do the link, talk about the links at the bottom. You do that this time. It's it's it, you know I can <laughs> say hey, Alyssa, that was amazing, and I'll just it is. Back you, Nick, and yeah, then you bring it all together. <laughs>